Ross said that I, I went too early, which I've heard that before. And then we listened back, and it was perfect. Yeah. If I sound funny this week, make sure you tell Ross, because I sound weird in these well, headphones. You man. also drink wine, so I think that's what it is. Wine doesn't affect your ears. It affects yeah, it your does. eyes. It affects everything. You have COVID? No, I don't have COVID. But I sound like I'm in a fish tank. Wine does not affect your ears. Sorry, officer, See? you hear your siren behind me. You sound <laughs> fine. I sound like an air traffic controller over here. Well, uh, <laughs> uh, we got a 747. <laughs> yeah, I say, you uh, also have your mic, right, or your mic right no. up against your lips. It's, it's in my it's no. in my ear. It's pull, in my ear. Pull your mic back a little bit. I did. There it's, you go, it's man. It's better. It's not better. You sound fine to me. It sounds like I should be asking, do you want fries with that? Uh, <laughs> would you like to upsize it to a Biggie Cola for just 10 cents more? <laughs> I can sound like a fucking Burger King punk over here. You sound fine to me. <sighs> how, do, how do we sound to you? Y'all sound fine. All like right, yeah. You sound yeah. fine to us. And I think y'all are doing this on purpose. Can you hear me now? <laughs> mm, it's not me. Can you hear me? Do you hear my nostril? My God, that's gross. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to choke on it. <laughs> You know what that burp had trunks to it. <laughs> can you can you hear me stroke my mustache with this? Oh man. Oh yeah. Ooh. Speaking of gross, I almost puked there. Honestly, <laughs> I, I, I got here to Ross's a little early because I had a dentist appointment. Yeah, this fun afternoon. fact, he got here about a half hour too early. Yeah, so I'm I'm like, not, he wasn't too early. He's just half hour longer than I expected. You but interrupted I, his beat off time. No, close. I was taking <laughs> a shit. <laughs> like I, as soon as I pull in, like I hadn't even got this thing in park yet. Ross like. Hey man, you here? I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm early, but I'm just chilling out here, like going through texts and emails and shit. Oh, good because uh, front door's locked. I'm uh, taking a poop right now. Yeah, I was like, I thought I heard your exhaust, and I'm sitting in my bathroom taking a shit. <laughs> Hold on, let, let me read the real life playback for you. Like, I'll give you the chain of events <sighs> here on the old. And then I sent a Snapchat of me sitting on the toilet taking a shit. He he really did. Yeah. Um. Hey man, I get get I gotta get the lotion off says, my hands. <laughs> <laughs> At four fifty six, Ross said, "You just pull up." I said, "Yeah, I'm early, just chilling." Okay, I'm in the bathroom dropping deuce and thought it was you. <laughs> Laugh out loud. <laughs> the door is locked and will be unlocked once I'm done pooping. A lot of detail in two sentences. <laughs> that's what he get, said. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. A lot of detail in two sentences. Get it all out. Don't pinch it off. <laughs> and then he responds back and said, it's open. Laugh out loud. And I said, <laughs> what? The door or the flap on your asshole? <laughs> he said the door. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to get a hold of you earlier this week. You were? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm hitting him up on Teams, on okay. Skype. This dude's dropping a deuce. Who, Michael was? Yeah, he wasn't responding. No. I'm like, bro, where is he at? I was peeing out my butt. <laughs> Leaking butt pee. Here's the deal. The day before, like, my stomach hurt so bad, man. It's like I had a roadblock. So I popped me two of them x slack things. Nothing happened until the <laughs> next morning. Oh, my God. The next Why morning. Why did you pop those? Because there was no movement. My stomach hurt, and I needed some relief. <laughs> True, but. And damn. I had some relief the next day, man. I shit colors I didn't even think were in the rainbow, man. <laughs> For real. And that's why you're like, man. Like you was, I'm like, man, hey, man, I got to go again. Like, <laughs> John's like, I'm a problem solver. Just sit backwards on the toilet and put your laptop on the toilet tank. I'm like, brilliant. Wow. <laughs> that was brilliant. I almost done it. Except I shit on the wall. <laughs> yeah. Except for my asshole's hanging over the edge of the toilet, so I'm shitting on the floor. <laughs> yes. But I did make a big boy decision today, oh, and yeah. I felt so. I literally pep talked myself Playing into fucking this. Pocket, or fucking footsies over here with me? That ain't me. That was you. That was you fucking me. Your fucking foot touched my foot. How? It put your foot it, on the fucking it, side it, of the table there. It definitely well, ain't my. It. Yeah. it definitely ain't my feet. My feet are way back yeah. here. Anyway, I made a big boy ass decision oh, today. And I, footsies, yeah. I had to like talk myself <laughs> into <laughs> That's this. That's cute. At Publix, I got me a um, after my dentist appointment. I got me a little chicken strip sandwich with bacon on it. 
and it was Ooh. up there in the hot chicken ready to sandwich? chicken. Yeah. That sounds really good. And I'm like, good. sounds good. It's got a piece of cheese on it. Get it out to the car. Is this pre-made or did you have them put the bacon on it? No, it's pre-made it's and it's right where you get the, the chicken from. And they Fuck had some yeah. tender, like Fuck fresh. yeah. I'm, I'm getting like, hard right like, now. This sounds good, man. Yeah. No, I'm not getting no hard. Yeah. I'm just, yeah. I'm, it's really sounds good. So really I get good. out of the car and I'm like, <laughs> oh, that's oh, my gun. <laughs> that was my wiener hitting the table. <laughs> oh, oh it sounds so good. So I get out to the car and I ba- open this thing. I'm like, yeah, man, this looks good. Hell yeah. I squeeze it and some shit comes out. Oh, of my oh, oh my no. God. I lift it up. It's got five pickles on it and what looks like mustard mayonnaise mix <laughs> sauce. Uh, and I said, you know what? I literally said, I literally said <laughs> out loud, I said, you're a fucking grown man, just <laughs> eat it. <laughs> <laughs> I did. And I ate the whole thing out of fucking spite. And I made myself enjoy it. Hell as, yeah. <laughs> Fist bump, motherfucker. As I, as I read the ingredients, it even said mustard mayonnaise sauce mix. I'm like, <laughs> I said that oh, yeah. over man. John and Claire's one time. They bought the fucking they got, grown ass man. They got the sandwich <laughs> ring and it had fucking mayonnaise and mustard on it. I said, who the fuck puts mayonnaise and mustard on a pre-made sandwich ring? For real. I was like, you always get that shit on the side. And how you said you ate it anyway? Nope. Just I at, usually don't at Subway. I was at Subway one day, and I said, I want uh, Southwest and Ranch sauce on it. The guy did the Southwest sauce, and then he put mayonnaise on an accent. Fuck that. I did an I, 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 ass and man move. He was like, oh, my bad. He was like, you good or you want me to remake it? I'm like, remake it. Yeah. So you had to make me a whole new oh, chicken bacon fuck, ranch. Yeah, fuck that. If yeah. you, can, you can remake it, remake that motherfucking. But but the bacon and, on the chicken tender sandwich, that's a good. game changer. It was it was a toasted bun, just like yeah. at uh, what you call it at Chicken Filet. Yeah. It was a big juicy chicken strip. Yeah. It had a slice of cheese and it yeah. had bacon crisscross on top. And mayonnaise and mustard. And in the bold, <laughs> in bold letters on the top, mayonnaise it said, and mustard. It said nope. It said chicken tender and bacon sandwich. And so I'm like, okay, it's I'm just I'm going to start plain. doing that. It was Because really good. I always get the chicken tender sandwich, or sub, sub, from Publix, and I have them toss it in buffalo and ranch at the same time. Yeah, I do so the buffalo. Bacon on there. Next time I'm getting bacon on it. You should. It was tasty. And it was and only get, three I get, bucks, man. I get yellow American cheese on it instead of white American cheese. I'm a yellow American cheese guy mm-hmm. if it's available. Get you some, like, Havarti or Gouda. No, yellow American Monster. is the best cheese. No, that's not true. It is true. Cheddar is the best you. cheese. No. Cheddar is by far Hard the best Hard cheddar, cheese. soft cheddar, ch- uh, sharp cheddar. I had some. Uh, like, I like a sharp cheddar. I had some like dill pickle cheese or some bullshit. Oh. Today. You would eat fucking dill pickle cheese. <laughs> it, but it was good though, man. Dildo did, did, cheese? Did, did, you have fucking, dildo cheese? Dildo. did you also have fucking avocado? Fuck you, man. Did you and also yes, have avocado? It was dildo cheese and it was good. <laughs> he had dildo cheese. And man. he also had fucking avocado, asparagus, and fucking kale on the sandwich. It was too. dildo <laughs> cheese and like three different types of meat. Ugh. If you're really interested. And it was all between a bun. Yeah, I bet it was. Anyways, yep. I was going to say, I made another grown-ass man move. You did. And fucking, I had shepherd's pie with fucking onions and mushrooms. My God. And I was fucking <laughs> how disgusted else do you, how by else that. How else do you eat it? How else do you well, eat you, it? Without usually, that. Usually, they without don't come with that. I would have eaten it with the onions, but not the mushrooms. I'd eat, I'd I'd bro, eat it with both. It was Tuesday. I, I want to say it was Tuesday mushrooms night. And onions Daniel put that shit in the microwave. Who I'm made like, it? A co-worker this is the stuff that's been some... in the freezer for six months. Exactly. Oh, poison! <laughs> poison. <laughs> She's trying to kill me. She's trying she to get me damn onions. onions. And I'm like, oh, she did something really nice, and she put fucking shepherd's pie in the freezer, uh, in the microwave for me. So when I got home from jujitsu, I had you food went, ready for she it. She knew you didn't like that shit. So I, I made my protein shake. I'm ready for some shepherd's pie. I'm like, fuck yeah, I got shepherd's pie. <laughs> shepherd's pie is not healthy though. I ate. I took a bite of that, and I go. It doesn't matter. I was starving. Like, I was about to die. And I took a bite of this, and I'm like, what the fuck (laughs) is that? Fucking onion chunks. Oh, big ones. Not even the little ones. No, not even like disguised onions. And then I take another bite. I'm thinking it's fucking, I got a nice, nice 
fucking nice. I got a <laughs> nice got bite. A hunk of money. How many nice times bite. is John gonna say fucking nice? Because <laughs> nice. nice. I'm thinking this, nice. this is how excited because I'm so hungry. This is nice shepherd's I'm pie. Like, nice. It's got onions. It's got onions. I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna I'm gonna man through this. Nice. I'm gonna champ through it. <laughs> I'm thinking this is a nice nice. nice. Bite. <laughs> you said it like 13 times already. You haven't realized it. Nice. 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 It's gonna be a nice bite. <laughs> Because it's got a lot of beef. Nice. It looks like beef, uh, beef and cheese. Beef. Oh, I love beef. So and cheese. I'm like, hell yeah, it's a nice <laughs> beef and cheese. <laughs> Guess what? There's fucking shrooms in there. Oh yeah. man, not so, nice. <laughs> not only am I disgusted by that, those fucking mushrooms and onions in this fucking shepherd's pie. Who the fuck does that? I don't know. Nazis. I do it with mushrooms fucking, for sure. Uh, like my my dad said. That. My dad has always said mushrooms are useless no, because they're, they're flavorless. Unless you're gonna get it fucking stoned yeah, off no, of they're that. No, they're not. They're, a, ask our buddy Wendy Day. She'll tell you. Wendy Day. Oh, Wendy. She will tell you <laughs> oh. that. She will tell you that they are great for digestion, and that's true. Like my mom used to put them in spaghetti sauce. She used to piss my I dad love off. I had. I had. So mush, I had mush, why I had would you do life. that? Because because my, dad, my dad said the same. He's like, why? They're pointless. So what my mom does now, and my dad probably doesn't know it. She purees the oh, <laughs> the Lord. mushrooms and put them in the spaghetti sauce. So either way, my the mushrooms are there. Who eats and Danielle does the same bullshit. Yeah. They'll try to find ways to hide onions in it. What like, the fuck do you do? Legit just sauce and noodles? Legit, sp- uh, legit red sauce is just fucking red sauce, and you you, you might add a hamburger meat to it. That's Supposedly it. Supposedly there are benefits to them. Like, yes, there are, great. but. I do not I want no I'd, fucking part Mike of it. Mike is a fender. Right I now. had spaghetti today with mushrooms in it. Who does that? Yeah. Who doesn't do that? I, no, uh, Italians? I, I like Probably like 80% of Americans. No, yes. not true. Not true. 80%. I agree with you, John. <laughs> Like, this is a brown gravy jar Fact gravy. Fact checker Ross <laughs> agrees with John. You're pack it, right? <laughs> yeah, pack it. Right. Yep. Yeah, fist bump, yeah. motherfucker. Hell yeah. Pack You're it. You're a jar, motherfucker. Yeah. And you, I yeah. bet all your jar motherfuckers yeah. are also shrooms. Shrooms. Micah likes his, uh, his gravy without flavor, but he wants mushrooms. But guess what? I did the man thing, and I fucking ate that bitch as I drank Big boy gravy. decisions. <laughs> John made guess big boy what? decisions. I paid for it. I paid for it. <laughs> My stomach said... Holy shit, what the fuck is this it wasn't in the, the morning? Mush- it wasn't the mushrooms and onions, though, that did that. No, it probably wasn't. The hamburger grease, probably. They, pro- they probably, probably didn't drain the grease off their hamburger when they made it. was starving myself yeah. a week before, That's trying to is. make weight, and then all of a or sudden I was eating shepherd's pie with unknown substances on top of a protein Or shake. it was that you actually inhaled the shepherd's pie, and your body didn't digest it. And That's possible. You yeah. made way, it too fast. Either way, I paid. Yep. And it wasn't good. Mm. It was disgusting. They say that that shit doesn't taste anyway, but onions and shrooms to do me it's taste. A, that's what makes it taste well, good. Me, no, yeah. me, it's not a taste thing. It's a texture thing. Texture and taste for me. Like I like, I like the raw onions, like on hamburgers and all that. I don't like the sautéed onions because they're mushy. It's Same a thing. Texture thing. That's why I don't like. Yeah, that's why I don't like uh, the the mushrooms because they're mushy. That's why I don't eat most fruits because a lot of fruits are the mushy fruit. I like apples because apples are are not mushy. If you want my blood pressure to rise, you talk about fucking mushrooms and onions. Yep, I love that them. shit. Just pisses like, me off. Um, clams. I don't. I won't eat raw clams, but I'll eat. You're fried from clams. fucking Boston. How but do you I'll, not eat no fucking but clam eat, chatter? But, but I'll eat fried clams. Um, oysters. You got like, time like to fry snot, some clams? Like snot in a fucking shell, I won't eat them, but if they're fried oysters, I'll eat fried oysters. Do you like to watch clam slamming? Clam, I love clam slamming. Hell yeah. It's so mm. hot. Scissoring. If that's <laughs> if that's the case, you probably don't like the taste of clam. <laughs> 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 it's a, it's like, a texture thing. It's, texture? It's not, it's not a taste thing. It's just like the mushy the mushy foods. Oh, yeah. like, like a lot of fruits. Like... Uh, how are you ever going to get down there and, and please a lady? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were talking about like clams. <laughs> well, he said it's a texture thing. No. Oh. But like mushy foods. You're talking about like I'm all about a roast beef sandwich. I love roast beef sandwiches. <laughs> yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Press those legs against my head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Mike started it. Well... It's, he said it's a texture thing. You're down there just clam lambing. So clam slamming. Raw, you like raw oysters? Mm-mm. I'm not a I'm not an oyster guy. I about because it's up. fucking snot in a fucking shell. 
Ugh. Yeah, wants that? exactly. But if you fry it or if you actually cook it, I'll eat it. I eat clam chowder. Are yeah. you spitter or swallower? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's just like the 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 texture of it. Yeah. If it's like fucking yeah. slimy, <laughs> I might help myself here. <laughs> Next topic. Please. <laughs> Please continue. Describe. <laughs> describe for us. I'm done. I'm Mushy done. fruits. I don't like, I like strawberry, cherry, watermelon flavored stuff, but I don't like the consistency of the food. I like hard shit like bananas. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate bananas. But bananas I hate because of taste. <laughs> oh, oh, who eats a banana? I do. Nobody. Banana flavored shit's I good. Did. Fucking I bananas. Banana. Disgusting. You bring one every day to work. Not every day. Every, every other day. day you're bananas eating a banana. are fucking disgusting. But the thing is, the banana tastes nothing like the banana flavoring. It does. It tastes exactly like this. Bullshit. No, 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 he's a yes. Starburst banana tastes nothing like a banana. Well, I've never had a Starburst banana. It's, it's the yellow ones. I've had a banana Starburst, and they're fucking disgusting. But it doesn't taste like a banana. It does taste like it tastes exactly like no, a banana, it fucking does. banana. It okay. does not even come close. Yeah, to it's banana. a little more tarty because it's a fucking Starburst. <laughs> no. Oh, I bet you would love some banana pudding. I don't. I've had it and I don't like it. Oh, You're fucking gypsy! There's some banana puddings that if you don't get any bananas in it, it's amazing. <laughs> I would probably like that one. As long as there's no banana and banana pudding. If you pudding. get the wafer and just the, the other pudding. You're eating vanilla pudding. You, have you guys had banana bread? Yes, it's awesome. It's yes. fucking disgusting. It, it's, it's amazing. amazing. It's, it's amazing. Banana, banana nut, nut bread. bread. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Gross. No, it's good with coffee. What the uh, fuck do you eat? A chalupa from Taco Bell? Hell yeah. That's it. I like apples. I like grapes. I like apples. That's I like, good. I like That's raisins. Good. You like yeah. turtles? I like turtles. <laughs> I like turtles. I like watermelon flavored things, but I don't like watermelon. Watermelon sugar? I'm about that. I love strawberry and cherry I'll flavored eat things, watermelon. but I don't like strawberries and the the cherries because they're all mushy and that. I will, I normally don't cream? go out of my way to eat those, but I do. Peaches mm-hmm. and cream. I like peaches flavored stuff, but I don't like the the fuzziness of a peach. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Peaches and cream. <laughs> I'll eat pizzas. I don't like the fuzziness. Well, get some without the fuzz. I don't like the mushy foods or the snotty foods. So I'll mashed eat, potatoes. I love mashed potatoes. Okay, that's but a mushy uh, food. No, oh, it's uh, different uh, 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 with the gravy cottage on it. Cheese. It's snotty. Cottage cheese. No, I don't like cottage cheese. I don't like cottage yeah, cheese. Yeah, fuck cottage no. cheese. Ugh, I like sour cream on my terms. <laughs> <laughs> I'll eat cottage cheese whenever. That's gross. Yep, I don't like mushy shit. I love some mashed potatoes <laughs> with gravy. Get some ground beef. <laughs> uh, probably, mashed potatoes are different than like a fruit or a. You probably would eat some mashed cauliflower. What about the? Know. I've had it and it's that's good. Okay, actually. it's okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. What about gravy at Waffle House? Yeah. Yeah, you like that? Yeah, the, the white gravy that goes on Bridges gravy. Yeah. You Why are you looking at me like that? He's gonna probably say it's jar gravy. No, no. Oh. I just thought as a lead into your Waffle House story. I was wondering. I, I love all gravy. You're like grinning at him like that. Well, gravy is it's amazing. A story. Waffle House. I'm like, well, this oh, would be yes. a lead in. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Fucking oh, doing, yeah. doing my job. Oh, yeah. I wasn't catching on on that. Fucking real. Waffle House is coming out with their own beer. No way. Cool yeah. story. It's a. Uh, I have a screenshot here. I, I What's it going to be called? Waffle brew. It's like a. It's like a breakfast brew. Oh, they are, I drink breakfast blend coffee now. It's amazing. Folgers. It's what's in your cup. You're still drinking the same it's thing? It's called yep. uh, Bacon and Eggs. Really? It, it, it doesn't have bacon and eggs or in it, but that's the name of their beer. Waffle House Bacon and Eggs beer. Bacon and Kegs. Sorry. Bacon, bacon and, and Kegs. And kegs. That's, yep. a, that's, a, that's a brilliant idea. Six bacon point, flavored coffee. 6.5% alcohol in it. Bacon flavored coffee is probably a thing. Yeah. Like they, they got it, I'm Yeah, sure. bacon vodka. They told me the other day that a lot of people went to the Waffle House when we went racing, and they said they have a breakfast bowl at Waffle House now that oh, is yeah? to die for. You, you get all your favorites in a bowl when you eat it out of a bowl. I thought I got like a Grand Slam bowl or something. I always like that. get the, like the – Or I don't even the, know what it's even called anymore. The all-star breakfast? No, That's I get the, 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 the sandwich that comes on like on the uh, Texas toast. It's like the steak sandwich on Texas toast. A McMuffin? No. Is that fucking – it's not McDonald's. It's fucking Waffle House. <laughs> I just – like I always – I try – when I'm drunk, I try not to get the sandwich because I feel like I'm going to smush that. But Last time I went to Waffle House, I was laying on the sidewalk outside <laughs> and they thought some homeless guy was outside. And like, no, that's our friend Ross. <laughs> Last time I went to Waffle House, they wouldn't serve me because I didn't have a shirt on. Yeah. That was the night we encountered cows in the middle of the road. <laughs> 
I also had uh, a Waffle House water, and I, the water was yeah. The AC from was his, dripping. The AC man was dripping cup. in his Mine water. Too. And I was drinking it. <laughs> yeah, they like, still didn't like, fix that. John's like, I don't care. It's free refills. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the ass up. It keeps itself yeah. full. That was the time we went before. We uh, I was we've been the there quite a few times. It was pretty much every. You Sunday really haven't morning. been there since your shirt was off at uh, Kid Rock. Uh yeah, probably not. Maybe like every time we went to Tampa, that's almost or like we, ten years. We went to downtown Lakeland. We got almost. drunk. We yeah. had the Uber bring us to Waffle House, and yeah, it, you were laying I, down on the sidewalk. Well, the and reason were, like, why I was laying, well, the reason why I was laying on the sidewalk because they wanted to fit six of us in a booth that fit four people. I'm like, now nope, I'm going outside, nah, and I nah, went and laid on the sidewalk. Not nah, doing it. It turned into a bunch of pictures being taken. John looking at the window, laughing at me. <laughs> right, it happens. You know. <laughs> But I'd love some Waffle House. Uh, yeah, it's awesome. We need to go to the Waffle House. Let's just go like one night, like on a Friday night or something. Let's just go there like 5 o'clock, 5.30 Dude, or the something. the Waffle House. It's, it's going, going down. down. <laughs> just found just out found I've always, always been, been messing, messing around. around. <laughs> Meet me in the Waffle, Waffle House. It's going down. It's going down. Just found out my old lady been messing around. Yep, it's a good one. Oh, uh, Colt Ford. Yep. Yep, good, good, good tunes, guys. Did you guys see that monolith thing that's been fucking going around? Uh, nope. That fucking metal, that metal thing that's been showing up in random places. I have the seen world. it. It's, it's the fucking stupidest, stupidest, stupidest thing yeah, in the fucking like, world. I wasn't going to entertain How is that it? fucking news? I'm yelling Fuck into the microphone. Bullshit. All right, next topic. I just don't fucking get it. Motherfuckers put them up, they take them down. They go, it was aliens. No, just someone fucking put it in the middle of the desert. Where no one fucking goes, and it's been there forever, and you just now found it. Somebody did it, it for is. a bunch of Instagram likes. Yeah, That's what and then was. they came and picked it up, and then now there's one in Romania. People are starting to copy that shit. It's corporate America trying to create distractions. Well, That's my thing is, is You're right. no. if it was aliens, it would be one solid piece of metal, not three si- three pieces of fucking sheet metal Wait a minute. fucking screwed together to make a fucking triangle in the middle of the fucking desert. You aliens. can see the fucking screws in it. Aliens have a stuck in steel mill in outer space. Yes. They can harvest steel yes. and like bound it into some spherical shape. They are better craftsmen. Than I'm us. gonna go ahead and say aliens aren't wasting their time doing that on our planet. Aliens, they probably look at our society and laugh their balls yes, off. Aliens have found a way to keep themselves hidden from us for our entire lifetimes. Yeah, you may see them here and there, but by the time you see them, they're gone. If they can hide from us like that. They could fucking build something without fucking using Philip head screws on it. I don't know if I ever mentioned this on the show, but I believe aliens put us in our own little galaxy, and they created that little dimension. I've said this a hundred times. So that way they they separate us from them. I've said to this, keep I think, intelligent so we life can't, form, we can't, so we can't crossbreed with an alien and make their race we're, stupid. They I think, know we're I, like think I said this on the podcast, how people think like we're like the only like what? living. No, no, no way. No way. We only see what our technology we allows are, I, us to see. Who you are naive if you think there's no other living life out well, there. We yeah. can only see our solar system. We can't. Yeah, yeah well, our you know technology what? only lets us see that far. Who says that three feet beyond the the distance of our best satellite or our best fucking little telescope? Three feet beyond the limit of our telescope might be another fucking planet. Right, but here's what here was what blows my mind. Right, this room has a wall. Yeah. All the way around us. Like, it has a set space. Like, that's it. That's the end. The that's wall. our universe. Fucking space has no boundaries. No. Like, it goes on forever. Like, how can that be? Like, that blows my mind. We only know what blows we know. Blows my mind. Yeah. Like, it's like, it's in infinity. How and can beyond. it fucking be infinity? It's, it's to infinity and beyond. Buzz Lightyear yeah. fucking said it. No, Bed Bath and Beyond it. <laughs> I don't have enough time. I feel like <laughs> we're like ants. We are. And they're like watching us, watching us evolve. Yep. And be like, yeah, look at those motherfuckers. Look at those motherfuckers. Earth they, didn't is an have, they didn't even have telephones. Are you like, okay, Annie? <laughs> they didn't are you have, okay, Annie? They didn't are you have okay? telephones. They didn't have no okay, electricity. Annie? Now look are at them. Okay? They started with a fire, okay? and now look at those little Remember when we were bastards. kids, we thought in the future okay? that we would have flying cars? Are you okay, are you okay Annie? The no. university we don't see probably have flying cars already. No, they, they've already been past that. That's yeah. like, That was like 100 yeah, no, that was 1982 when we thought we'd have. Why flying do you cars. need a flying car? Like, 
Why even put wheels on it if it flies? Exactly. Now they just drop monolith things in yeah. the middle of nowhere so they can teleport anywhere. We got some fucking blacksmith in fucking Arizona who thought it'd be cool to put a fucking ugly ass you piece know, of sheet metal you in know, a some fucking Polk desert. County redneck yeah. dr- dr- pulling it apart and breaking Micah it down. would build a better you, monolith. Yeah, you know who done that? Is fucking Doc Brown in the fucking GMC yeah. flux capacitor. Yeah. He fucking he teleported. He had suicide doors, didn't he? Yes, he did. So he he rolled up on this bitch. <laughs> he has he, a bungee strap on the fucking hatchback of the DeLorean with the fucking monolith hanging he, out the he back. He came from 1955 <laughs> in his time machine. He 55! planned this. 55! <laughs> Badass. Yeah. Fucking Doc Brown done it. Is he still alive? Yes. Yeah. Uh, What's his name? Christopher? Was he like? I don't know. 105 now? Chris, not Christopher Walken, but it's like uh, ah, something like Chris. Uh, Chris Christopher Bird. Walken, he's he died a long time ago. It's something Christopher. No, Christopher Walken. So I'm thinking of Christopher. I Reeves. need more cowbell. That's Christopher yeah, Walken. Yeah, I'm thinking about know? Christopher Reeves, who is Superman, who yeah. what was Superman in a wheelchair. Uh, what was Doc Brown? What's his name? Something Christopher. Christopher Walken, not Walken. No. What's his name? Teddy that was uh, the star of that. Uh, he's Chris th- Cross. His name's says? Jamie, right? What? Uh, Jamie Lee Fox. Is that's, that who I'm talking about? Not Jamie Lee Fox. That's, uh... <laughs> that's <laughs> he Bryce, said dude. it. I think it's just added, like, four names together. <laughs> Michael J. Fox. Christopher Lloyd. That, Christopher Lloyd. Yeah, see, that's was close. It's Michael... Jamie Lee Fox. That was a chick, wasn't uh, it? <laughs> no, that's a black dude on, uh... Yeah, yeah, a Sunday. The, yeah. the singer, <laughs> really rapper... Like... Jamie Lee Curtis. <laughs> I put Jamie Fox and Jamie Lee Curtis <laughs> together. <laughs> Jamie Michael Lee Fox. Jamie Lee Fox. <laughs> Is Michael J. Fox still shaking? Yes. Yeah, yes. that shit just don't go away. Yeah, found no cure. Yet. Yeah, when he dies is when he'll stop shaking. I mean, like he's still alive. Let me Google he's it. Still is, alive. is Jamie Lee Fox still shaking? Yes. 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 <laughs> you guys are assholes. Oh God. Is he still? I pray to God none of anybody else has to deal with that, but they will. Yeah. I'm not trying to make fun of people. Sounds like it. <laughs> Sounds like you are. <laughs> Haters, man. Uh, that bitch Carl Baskin is back in the today. <laughs> I Fuck that bitch. <laughs> You're going to keep shaking if you keep fighting. Why? Oh, yeah. You're going to get punches to the head. You're going to be talking like Mike Tyson, and you're going to be walking around like fucking Jamie jo- Lee Fox. Just be fucking Jim Muhammad Ali. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah? You'd be Muhammad ja- Ali? No, I said Jim ja- ja- Muhammad Ali. Jahamid? Uh, ja- Jahamid Ali? Jahamid. Ja- yeah. <laughs> Instead of J- John, John Muhammad is yeah, John Muhammad, John Muhammad, John Muhammad, John Muhammad, John Muhammad. <laughs> John Muhammad. Carol, Carol Baskin's back in the news today. You hear what happened? She got bit. Somebody Close. got bit. Yes, someone was rushed to the hospital from her big cat rescue today for a serious injury. It turns out a tiger bit an old lady in the arm. One of her workers. No Ow. extent to what the injury was, but it said serious injury. So they probably, probably got the arm. Probably a wound at least. Or the arm ripped off. Well, if it looked anything like your brother-in-law's leg, like a fucking oh, tiger. he got fucking bit He got bit a by a dog. Yeah, it wasn't a fucking tiger. That's what I'm saying. If a tiger bit you, the fucking leg's like, gone. It's gone. He's having trouble walking still. Yeah, he's I milking it. I seen he's it. getting stitches up today. Yeah. He's milking it. This thing had, like, meat hanging off of it. Gold meat curtain. <clears throat> like you said, a dog bit him like that? Yeah. Imagine a fucking tiger. Cougar. Tiger. An 800-pound tiger. A tiger. That's Dude, the biggest cat yeah, ever. Fucking king of the jungle. I, I learned one thing. No, with, the lion's the king <laughs> of the yeah, jungle. Do the same thing. With the lion's not even in the jungle. That doesn't even make any sense. Yes. You don't yes, want to get... No. A lion and a tiger are both in the jungles. No, they're not in jungles. Uh, they are... The tiger is in the jungle. A lion is not in the jungle. Then why is the lion the king of the fucking jungle? <laughs> That's the confusing <laughs> part of it. That's, they want to make you think. You got to think outside lion, the box. A lion is not in the jungle. You got to watch out get mobbed he's by cougars. He's the king of the jungle, but he's not. Oh, I, I would be mobbed by a cougar in a second. You would? <laughs> Goddamn John's right. <laughs> However, the I title is a little misleading as lions do not actually ah, live in the jungles. See, even though they're the king of the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> King of the jungle, but they're not the king of the jungle because they don't even live in the jungle. Their habitats include scrubland, grabland, or grasslands, savannas, and rocky hills, but not jungles. Hashtag, they're still their fucking king of the jungle. Who the fuck named them? Yes. King of the jungle. Yes. I thought I've, been, a, I've been on that ride. That's, that's, like, that's like saying Pitbull, the rapper Pitbull is Mr. 305, but he lives in the 863. Yes. <laughs> but it's true. It's bullshit because I thought George was king of the jungle. 
No. Nah. George, 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 George of the, of the jungle. jungle. Watch out for that tree. He was never the king. He was George of the Jungle. Yeah. George, king of the jungle. No. Yes, it is. Look it up, Ross. Brendan no, Fraser he's played not. George. He's not King George of, the George of the Jungle, not King of the Jungle. Is yeah. George King of the Jungle? No, it's not. Yes, it no, is. It no, no, it's, it's not. not. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> no, it's not, man. I remember him. Well, what about not Godzilla, but the George other, of the, the Jungle, ape. right there? Who's the, the ape? The ape. ape Donkey the, Kong. He's not the jungle. The King of the Jungle either. <laughs> what? What's the big the, the big gorilla that like smash cities like Godzilla? Donkey Kong or something, right? Godzilla is God. the ones that no, no. Um, King Kong. King, king Kong. Kong. Yeah, he's not the king of the jungle hey, either. Fun fact. He probably would be because King Kong. You know the movie the gods. You brought Godzilla and King Kong. King they're, Kong ain't got shit. On they're Godzilla. supposed to have the Kong vs. Uh, Godzilla movie that was supposed to come out this year. Kong. Yeah. They got pushed back to next year. Next year. Didn't because they already of the, do something like that? No, they did. They did King Kong. Then they did the Godzilla. Now they're gonna do king a movie Kong. with them together. It was supposed to come out this year, but it got moved to next year because of COVID. Warner Brothers announced today that all their movies that come out next year will be um, released on HBO Max the same day they go out to the theaters. So you could stream it or go to the theaters on the same day. Watch for what? Yeah. So you, uh, it starts with Wonder Woman on Christmas Day. WW84. The Wonder Woman's movie comes That's out Christmas cool. Day. It'll be streaming she, and in the theaters on the same day. The motherfuckers took my damn Twitter handle, WW84. Yep. Yep. Wonder Woman 84. Yep. WW84. So all the Warner Brother movies for next year will be on demand. Yep. The same I time. wonder how many motherfuckers learned something new tonight that yep. the lion is not the king of the jungle because he didn't yeah. even live in the jungle. I know. We I, determined I something. George is king of the jungle. No. Yes, he is. George is not the king of the jungle. The fuck he ain't. The a, fuck fucking, he ain't. a fucking tiger is the king of the jungle. Whatever. <laughs> not a lion. Not a lion. Unless I will. a lion and a tiger made it, then it'd be a liger. Yeah. All right. This fucked up moment is brought to you by Florida's Finest Winery. We found a new wine tonight called Sorta Blueberry. Sorta Sweet Blueberry Wine. It is quite tasty. It doesn't taste like feet like keen and curly. So if you're looking for a, a quite delicious, refreshing beverage to drink with your significant other, then get this other brand of wine called Sorta Sweet Blueberry. This is not a paid ad. <laughs> and yeah, I it. also like Keel and Curly. Yeah. And I but this is better. I like this to is squint better. when I drink. Yes. Oof. Yeah, he, he brought it. He, he was like, it's not, it's not the fizzy pop. It's called Sorta Sweet. It, and it was Sorta Sweet, so we're like, hell yeah. I'm the Sorta sweet. sweet was Sorta Sweet, and it was good. And right. And it How was much 11, 11%. I forgot to put that. Which is only 1% less than this, so that's pretty good. That's, it's a, that's it, damn good. It's 11% alcohol, and it is $12.39. I'm just glad it's not that arm, That's, arm that's a dollar, It's a dollar more than this. With a dollar less alcohol. I feel like I when it's 10 it's 13. This is oh, 10.99. Okay. When you bring the Arbor Mist stuff, I feel like we need to get a bottle of vodka to mix it with it. No, when you bring Arbor Mist, I need to bring some fucking the Tylenol. Only, the only reason why I did the Arbor Mist that one night, I also bought Keel and Curly. It cheap. was because, no, it was like four times the size of the... Yeah, you get a lot more. And it was like... Three, it was like four ninety nine. I'm like hell yeah, but I even bought it, Killing Crow that night too. Yeah. I bought both. Well, it comes still, with a headache in the bottle. Yeah. But we're still rookies at this wine gig, though. I'm we're not, still fucking I'm seasoned, speak to yourself. Yeah, I'm a seasoned vet, man. Oh. Drink up. Yeah, it was coming from well, a guy who's drinking seltzers. I've never <laughs> brought nothing less than ten percent though. Yeah, you also didn't bring anything tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you bought zero percent tonight. <laughs> I brought, I brought a couple <laughs> seltzers. <laughs> Way to call me out, yeah. man. Normally, I, I normally never I, bring anything less than twelve percent. You brought zero percent tonight. <laughs> tonight, but normally I bring. And one what's the first two. thing you said when you walked in? Hey, anyone bring wine? Because <laughs> <laughs> normally I bring stuff, and I didn't tonight. Yep. I normally bring <laughs> stuff even when we have stuff. Yeah. He didn't bring shit. He was like, hey, anyone bring wine? <laughs> Damn, why are you going to talk shit, man? No, you're talking <laughs> shit like I don't bring nothing ever. God damn! Uh, this fucking show. Uh, up. Uh, fuck up. you, man. Hold on. <laughs> showed up empty-handed, ate all your damn combos <laughs> and your Doritos, ate all my damn Doritos, <laughs> and asked where the hell's the but, wine. But where are the assholes? Yeah. Yeah. Where are the assholes? Fuck. Wait to flip the script, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm 
my yeah. fucking seesaw right now. John, down, John was like, down. John's like, man, yeah, I ain't gonna. Sounds eat. like you're on a cock. He was like, I'm no, not gonna fuck that bullshit. He was like, I'm not gonna eat Micah's Doritos. He was like, I ain't gonna eat all Micah's Doritos, but I, I can eat like two of your uh, combos. And now I'll be good. So we ate two of my combos. Next thing you know, I hear rustling. Behind me, I look back. He's over there eating your fucking Doritos. He said it was okay. He said it was okay. <laughs> this bitch over here is like Oliver Twist living in famine. God, God damn. <laughs> Anytime you eat lunch with him, he's like, are you done with that? <laughs> <laughs> Can I have some? <laughs> oh, man. People were sending those Christmas little it's Debbie's, the, it's uh, the fucking little Debbie's lady. Christmas tree cakes. Yeah. The, oh, my God. I was drooling. They're they're sending he, them? He's terrified of the lunch No, lady, they were man. sending pictures of him. Oh, man. Mm, that's a man right there. Mm, man <laughs> you can right wrap there. them legs around my thighs anytime. <laughs> oh, my Lord, lady. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> you can wrap the moms around and my thighs And she came up to your anytime. cubicle. Wow, she's stalking your ass. <laughs> oh, she probably was. She's probably staring at it. <laughs> Speaking of Christmas trees, I got mine put up this weekend. Me too. And I've I never was, had a Christmas tree. I was, I was so like impressed with the whole effort because like usually putting up Christmas decorations, you're like, fuck, this is going to be an all-day adventure. We knocked it out in like, the course of a half a day. I didn't say one cuss word. I didn't get flustered one time. And like I was like pleased when it was over. With, I like, got one this question. This feels nice. Did you use double-sided tape to hold all your stuff up? No. Good. Why would I? Because <laughs> John does, and all the shit fell down. Oh. <laughs> talking about Christmas lights. He was like, oh, my stuff's up. Like, John, you don't use double-sided tape on the outside. <laughs> uh, <boy. laughs> he was like, my wife didn't want me to put screws because they'll rust. They won't rust in a month. <laughs> put stainless screws in there. They'll yeah. never rust. <laughs> well, even if you don't let it sit long enough. It, it's not dried or whatever or tacked on enough. So if you put some lights on it, it falls right off. That's why you, uh, you, when your wife sent, she sent a Snapchat of like the lights. I got you all did them, and I think you were still like on the roof or something like that. You see nice lights, nice lights, section hanging. Nice lights. <laughs> I'm like, oh, we must use double side tape again. I had to replace that. One. <laughs> you don't use double side tape in the wilderness. That's funny. I didn't know that. <laughs> He was like, she want me to use screws or nails because she said they'll rust. Like, like Micah said, stainless, stainless steel won't stainless rust. Stainless steel will not rust. It'll last forever. Yeah. Dude, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it does. It really does yeah, in this it case. It does matter. They'll, they'll stay up all year. Yeah. Right? All season. The wood will rot before the screws rot. Yeah. I'm not even dealing with it. And you won't even notice the screw or the nails while they're there. Yeah. Those blend in. Use little finishing nails. Yeah. Little tack nails. Mm-hmm. All right, come over. No. Nope. No, we're good. I didn't even put Christmas lights up on my outside, which I got to because I guess we're having a family gathering at my my uh, my facility on the day of Christmas when Santa Claus comes. So now I got your house is always volunteered. <laughs> yes. So now my house is like fucking ho 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 central. <laughs> now I got to put on my best like Christmas shit up. Dude, I I always get volunteered to have my house because it's like, oh, you have a good spot to hang out, blah blah. You're centrally located. Oh, I live yeah. out. Grandparents I, come over. My mom. Yeah. Everybody come over. I live halfway to Georgia, so nobody ever <laughs> wants to come over. <laughs> my house isn't big enough to entertain guests, my aunt, so it's perfect. Like, it's like, god damn, like everybody comes over. Yep. Yeah. Oh, you got a pool? <laughs> I brought oh, my yeah, I no. brought my speedo. It's gonna get there soon, though. Yeah, you got a heating okay. pool, right? Is it still I don't warm? Ever, I don't ever turn it on. John yeah. just can't say no. I thought That's there's not problem. a solar pool. It's a, no. oh, it, okay. I have a heater for it, but I don't ever turn it on. That thing will cost you like eighty five hundred. Why would you heat your whole fucking pool for uh, probably two hours of swimming? Well, why not? Oh, usually they do it for like the month long swimming. Well, are you gonna swim every day for a month? Because it's a, if it I had costs, a pool, I it might, costs well. it costs money to swim. If I if was I had Michael a pool, Phelps, I would. I would. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. If I was Michael Phelps, I would. Yeah, if you're Michael Phelps and I'm swimming and training and that's part if of my I owned, training. If yeah. I owned a pool and I swam a lot, then I would. Yeah, but... But uh, I, would ne- I would never own a pool personally, so no, I would why? not run mine. But like, I said the same thing. It's really not bad. It costs me I'm $30 a, a month. Well, I'm not a pool guy. Yeah, well, and the well thing, then don't go to bars. <clears throat> I don't play pool or swimming pools much. Okay, so you specify. Yeah. 
with the pool is it's not bad like during the summer i don't need to heat nothing it's actually refreshing if you just yes. get done cutting the it grass is. yeah you just jump right in there you like or you just like want to spend out day like a, a day outside watching tv and then like mm-hmm. you get hot you jump in the pool yeah like Probably watch kids. TV. I'll watch TV in the house where I won't get hot. <laughs> kids get hot. It they works. jump in the pool. I'll they want to swim. I'll tell you it works good, too. If you're in a yard working and you're in ants, just jump in the oh, pool. Get the ants and off. they'll stick yes. to you. No, they'll get them off of you. I thought that was like rule 101 when their ants are, are on you. You don't put no, they water don't, on it. They don't, they don't they die. They don't die. Yeah, and they attach to you. Like they don't let go when you go in the water. Well, Michael is probably rubbing them off. Oh, he loves rubbing shit off. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> No, nope. but I did make my triumphant return back to racing. How'd that go? Uh, I been I finally found the picture of the last time I raced. It was April of 2017. That was in Citrus, wasn't it? Yep. Last time I was in a race car. I was dry heaving in the parking lot yeah. that night. It was a good night. Yeah, it was. It was a great night. Yep. We qualified good. I think I finished third that yeah. night. You're in the uh, X car. The X car. Yep. Yeah. Well, I'm in a pretty good car. This last race, ten grand to win. There's 40-something cars supposedly registered, so you're going to have to qualify in. So I go to practice Friday. Spend most of the day trying to figure it out. Finally put the new tires on. About 15 laps into my run, I went my fastest lap. Moved up from like 28th to 16th on the board. You exceeded the limits of your equipment, didn't you? And the next lap, fucking motor blowed up on me. Too fast for his equipment. Yep. Shitty ass car. They asked me what happened. I said, I don't know. I guess this motor ain't been this fast before. <laughs> nah. It I was, just, pissed, it was this man. time. It wasn't nobody's fault. It was just a mechanical failure. I was looking forward to it driving was, two miles or two hours south, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. I told John. It was a good I was, time. I told John. I was like, you going to the race? If you want to go to the racetrack, let me know. I'll drive. Yeah. I was ready to go, man. You know what the coolest part of it was? It's not. It wasn't your stuff. Well, that. But I kept <laughs> all my emotions in check. I had a great time. I had fun. I was upbeat even whenever the motor broke. I was yeah. like, man, that's really disappointing because I just spent 600 and something dollars on tires. I only put 15 laps on. And I'm like, you know what? But I made an investment. Sometimes investments don't work out. Yeah. And you know what? I had a blast doing it. I was out here all day. Like, I really enjoyed myself. So as, as big of a bummer as it was, I, I was okay. At least you got back in the seat. You're, yeah. You had some seat yeah. time. And I was okay. So then, like. So we're like, we're already down here. We'll stick around and watch the race Saturday. So my ex-boss and stuff is down there. And I walk over on Saturday. I'm like, hey, guys, what's up? And they don't even say, hey, good morning. They're like, you're spotting. I'm like, God. Oh, God damn. damn I'm working. <laughs> nah, so then I didn't even get to watch the race. And the race was really good. It was a photo, fi- photo finish on the last lap. Like, it was a good race. Ross Chastain was down there. He was down there signing watermelons. Yep. Yep. I saw sure that on was. Instagram. Good old Ross Chastain was down sure there. Was. It's a good time, man. Yeah. Like, we got a hotel at the downtown Ponte Gorda. That's a nice town, man. They have like this little festival. Ponte Gorda is like, is like a high dollar yes, area. Yes, millions yeah. of dollars in boats. And then Cause the people, it's, just, it's just north of Naples. Naples is a big time money area. The, the people I was with on Saturday, like during practice, like, well, hell, we're not racing. So they went uptown to like the little tiki bar type deal on the water watching all these big yachts. And they said there was ladies out there with string ass bikini like thongs on like on these million dollar boats and stuff just we should have went down there anyway john yeah man <laughs> y'all could have went down there yeah but why not come back man it was but it was a good time right, danielle was like we're not making a whole weekend out of it i'm like it's only a two uh, i told her, I was like it's only like an hour and 15 minute drive i'm like it's like a two hour drive uh two hours yeah, yeah. well and the thing is if we literally went and we left two hours before his race Oh, well, I plan on heading down there like at noon. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> my, my goal was like to leave at well, even noon. for me, like yeah. even for me. Yeah, if it was just me driving, me leaving depended on when you were available to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you might be able to make an hour forty-five, but two yeah. hours is the most common. Like you gotta book it up. Like yeah. it was, it was standing room only. There was nowhere to sit. Yeah, like it was a big crowd. It was good. Yeah, I was gonna buy pit passes and everything mm-hmm. and like, hang out in the pits. It was a good time, man. I think y'all to like. John it. was like, "What time are you leaving?" I'm like. Depends on when you're available. Uh, I was like, I plan on leaving like 11, 12 o'clock, so I assume you'd get there probably by noon, 1 o'clock. Yeah, that's about right. So I was going to get there a little after you got there and just hang out in the pits all day, mm-hmm. smuggle beers in there. Yeah. <laughs> we had we had some. We, we oh, did, yeah. We drank quite a bit of beer uh, Friday night once I knew I wasn't racing the next day. Yeah. I, I, I hydrated my ass off. <laughs> and let me tell you, like, I drank Pissed and drank and, I drank and drank and drank water all week, like started that Monday. Like, just pounding water, pounding water, pounding water. For nothing. 
<laughs> and I didn't even piss that much, so like I kind of went halfway to. It just shows you how much your body was lacking in water yeah, if you yeah. didn't piss. But I was yeah. I was so excited on Friday. It got four o'clock, and I got a little anemic. And I'm like, whoa, I feel kind of woozy. I've been like practicing all day, and I realized I never ate anything the entire yeah. day, and I didn't have dinner the night before. Like so, I was like thirty something hours without eating. Yeah, that's crazy. That would do it. John's like, I went like fucking <laughs> six like days fucking without eating. <laughs> <laughs> Man, yeah. like, I got like a week notice, and he's like, hey, you think you make 170? How'd that uh, go? What were you before that, 180? Probably 180-ish, like 185. Oh, God. Like, <laughs> That's ish? 180-ish is 185? When I moved well, up from my JV to varsity weight. at Duff Field, I was 170. Because I could, I could go to bed at 185 and then wake up at like 180. And then, then like, your body I, go fast pra- I, go to, I go to practice and then – or train, and then I come back and I'm 175. So yeah. my weight fluctuates quite a bit. So, yeah. But on Sunday, I was nine over. And I had on Friday I had to be at 170. Yeah. So I lost like nine pounds in a That's week. That's impressive. But, I, and I, I kept it down and I ended up weighing at 169. I don't think I had the discipline to 69. lose that much. 169. I, I walked like a fucking shit ton and yeah. I sipped. How'd on your me. match go? I lost. Just because you were fucking he weak. Know, he won 99% of it, and he lost 1%. So that 1% is all that matters. It doesn't matter. A, that 1% of mistake. the match is his body craving something to eat. No. <laughs> he, he, he still, physically, physically, you can't yeah. tell that I, I, I like, did anything. 30 seconds into this, John had dude's feet off the ground and like slammed him through the fucking mat. Like I thought he broke dude in half. Like, it I was about broke exciting. myself in that half. That was all part of that <laughs> guy's plan. <laughs> no, he, no, like he was completely oh boy, cut yeah. off guard. He was cut off guard for it. <laughs> Turns out that wasn't the best fight <laughs> of the night. Yeah. <laughs> no, there, well, <laughs> I, had, I left. There was there was a, a bunch of good fights on the card. There's 12 on the card, and the best I've one actually, was, the, was not in the card. It was I in the actually, crowd. Like I actually heard someone say that someone got knocked into a fence, like mm. got like just dropped and like just collapsed. So there's a lot of good like actual fights there. But then there was also a crowd fight, crowd fight because, and I'm glad I had left just right. Before. One family didn't like that another guy's family or friends, <laughs> and there was chair <laughs> slamming. One person was beating the shit out of another person in the cage, mm. and they didn't like it. And next thing you know, there was fucking people WWE, in the air, Royal through Rumble, tables, fucking slammed through chairs. I chairs wasn't there, so I, I lucked out. I missed it. it it, I it snatched chairs. I snatched a chair out of someone's hands. I would just let him fight, fight it out. I almost got in a fight in the honestly, parking lot though, leaving. Honestly, honest, he said someone blocked your truck. I honestly thought, like, when I snatched a person's chair out of their hands, they were about to. You hit were the next some, victim. They had a chair in their hand. They're about to smash somebody that was already on the ground. So it wasn't even like the person was even getting up. Like they were trying to get up or whatever, and they're about to hit him with the chair. And I snatched that bitch like. Right out of their hands, they turned and looked like they were going to do something to me. And I just, like, I gave them the look like I got the chair. We had cats on the table. they turned and did did whatever and continued on. But it was fucking chaos for a little bit. It was chaos. <laughs> and then they still finished the fights. Yeah. But Mike, like Mike said, it was, even out in the parking lot. It was lot, a chaos was in the parking lot. Fucking people were going nuts. I got there somewhat early, and I parked in a corner so nobody could park on the other side of me. That way, I drove my big-ass truck so make it easy to get out. I'm parked like this. The other fucker comes in and like the parking was limited, but he pulls in to where me and the car, two cars next to me can't get out. No matter what we do, we can't get out. He has us all blocked in. So I sit there and I pull my truck up and I get within like a quarter inch of his door. And I'm like, see how long we got to wait for this asshole. Luckily, (laughs) it was only five minutes. And I'm like, good. And it was three little punk kids. I'm like, all right, I'm going to be a dick. So as soon as they got in the car, I cranked up the truck. Turn the uh, bright lights on. They throw their hands up and shit. And they, they back out of the stall. And while they're backing out, like, I about hit their fender, like, driving past. Like, you dumbass. You don't block people in no. in a parking spot like that. Like, it's not a parking spot. Don't pull your box of shit there. They were probably part of the group that got their ass beat on the inside. That The people they were with, I think they did lose. Yeah. Not in the big brawl, but they were in another fight before that. Like, yeah. they must have just showed up to watch the one. Oh, and I said y'all get to pick the intro song. Yeah. That's not the case. No. Uh, I literally got like 10 Bucky. minutes, maybe 10 minutes notice. They, they said, hey, get, uh, yeah, I got ACDC. Bucky Black. 
but back in black. But I hit a ground. It's pretty good. You weren't even wearing black. You were yelling a yellow. Yeah, you were wearing a yellow Crocs. Yellow fucking. A yellow <laughs> Hulk Hogan. Is a Hulk Hogan tank top. No, it's a Guy Harvey. Oh, okay, Guy Harvey. Guy Harvey. That's pretty stupid. Tank top with some Crocs. No wonder you lost. He, 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 you know who he kind of looked like? If you mix Princess Leia and Hulk Hogan and they had a kid, because he had the braids in and he had the yellow tank top. Princess Hogan. Princess Hogan. <laughs> yeah. Hulk Leia. Hulk Leia. That's funny. <laughs> Just kidding. But now he, John come out with his backpack on like he was going to school and I'm the only guy that did that, yeah. too. And it's so funny. Like, John walks up. He's like, oh, cool, cool, cool. And then whenever, like, he sees the ring, the fucking eyebrows squinch, and it was game on. <laughs> I can't wait to knock off my Crocs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It but was, it was cool. I've never been in nothing like that. I've no. never been in I've never. never been in a cage. I've never I, done I, a no-gi no match. Like, I've never done any of that. Dude, it was cool. I just was like, he, like, literally it was a and week before, uh, the guy at the gym was like, hey, yeah. could you do this? So yeah. Yeah. We, we got a celebrity death match. Sure. <laughs> I can lose 10, 15 10 pounds, pounds. In, a, in a week. See, I don't think I could do That's, that. It is torture. I remember why I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I will say, though. <laughs> that Friday of the weigh-in, John was so hungry, you could see it on his face. And I'm eating a breakfast sandwich. He's like... Man, Bro, I have just on. one bite. And he, Friday's the day you go to get breakfast. Yeah. So everybody's eating breakfast around me, and I'm just like, come on, man. He, I had, and I'm like, fine, one bite. One Three bite. bites later, I got to take it back away. I'm like, dude, man, you made it this far. <laughs> you got a breakfast sandwich. I was like, just one bite. <laughs> Three I bites. I ate one bite. I don't oh, know God, God. He owes you a breakfast sandwich now. <laughs> no. No. Uh, <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> but I've been eating, like, dude, I've been eating. I've been killing it since then, though. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> You can't get to 250. <laughs> I'm not trying to get like that. I ah, see. I knew you couldn't. <laughs> no. <laughs> you already know that pisses me off. You like say I can't. 250. <laughs> but you can't. You bet you can't. 250. You got, to, you got to 225 one time, but you can't get I've no been, 250. I've been 230 is my heaviest. 230? 230. Because they said I couldn't get 225. I went 230. <laughs> That's the best you looked. <laughs> no, I felt like I was going to die. And that was the best you looked. I ate so much food, I can't explain. Now you look like one of them kids that Sarah McLaughlin fucking yeah, talks about on the fucking yeah, TV the commercials. Fuck if you got to be 250, you look like uh, Jack Black. Bro, I might. I would explode. <laughs> And I was a solid two thirty. Yeah, like, you, I wasn't, you weren't. I was a you weren't fit. a big. You weren't a big two thirty. I wasn't like you a look fat two thirty. You look normal. That's crazy. I've never weighed more than two and eleven, dude. I two eleven. Now, I'm talking John, about, I would eat till I'm almost throwing up. Now John looks again. like a fucking plant that's been on his cubicle desk for a month and a half that hasn't been watered. <laughs> that's what no. John looks like he, right he now. He looks like this a John, no. This John would no. destroy 230 John. He looks bolted. This John looks like a contestant on Survivor. <laughs> yes, he does. Yes. Or <laughs> naked and afraid. Hey, no <laughs> I was clear cut. I, had, I was shaved. John's uh, naked uh, and afraid right now. I was, I was <laughs> a fat 230. You weren't clean fat. Shaved. I wasn't fat, but I was, no. I was a 230 but clean shaved. You look normal. Now, I'm a, one, a 180 fucking beard, fucking long hair. Now you look like someone who's like protesting outside of uh, Purdue uh, chicken farms because people are eating animals. Yeah, I, got, I got motherfuckers flicking coins at me down the street. Yeah. yeah. You, look, you look like an Antifa starter kid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, the, the bricks are around the corner. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. That's good stuff, man. Oh. Looks like a contestant on Survivor. He does. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing for a bag of rice this week. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Ross. I am not even the one that said that. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? Mike Shut is the one that the said you look like the guy on the fucking Survivor. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Micah. <laughs> you already said, Ross, you can't take oh, it back. Yeah. Well, Shut the fuck up, Ross. Yeah. You're negative as fuck. Yeah. Hater. Yeah, you fucking <laughs> hater. <laughs> no lies detected. <laughs> Oh, good shit, man. Why do you hate me? I don't hate you. Oh, you don't? No. It's hard to tell. Mike was the one that started the hate. I just I fucking piled not. on. Yeah. <laughs> you started calling him Ethiopian and all kinds of shit. Yeah, I did Yeah, yeah. I, huh. I was like, God damn, I felt like I was looking fit lately. <laughs> Right now he's got that little hair curl. He kind of looks like Michael Jackson. You look hungry. Where's your sign? I'm fucking starving. Where's your cardboard sign? (laughs) (laughs) We'll work for food. 
So you should be under the I, uh, under uh, the overpass of I four ninety eight North. Panhandling. Yeah. Uh, if I'm gonna panhandle, I'm gonna panhandle right outside. You're gonna panhandle in the cafeteria at work, <laughs> oh. trying to get free food. Johnny, yeah. <laughs> Johnny Panhandler. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm I I have a real legitimate threat. Like I you can gotta, get, I can get kidnapped at lunch. Yeah, you could. Well, I don't know why you would, but mm-hmm. the woman the woman at the woman oh, at, yeah, work, that one, yeah. woman at work, work wants me. I'll file a missing persons report. She's like, hey, and I'm like, hey, how's it going? <laughs> and I'm like, hi, beep, hi. Beep. Hi. <laughs> He's like, beep, beep. <laughs> she wants to kidnap me. Yeah, she wants to do more than kidnap you. <laughs> She wants to smother me and cover me, and <laughs> she, she wants to make your lunch. Oh, she wants me to be her lunch. Oh uh, yeah, she's a big and she's probably sweet as pie, but she's a big and she she made me laugh. That's the funny thing. I still got dip, dodge, duck, and dodge and dip. But you got to relocate your cubicle because <laughs> she knows where you're sitting. Now. Ah, like I don't go to my desk anymore. When Today do the lunch a- ladies wander away from the cafeteria? That's what. Start normally, normally whenever they gotta uh, go to the time clock. Oh, so they. So walk you're by, by the time clock. Well, I'm. My desk is at the on hallway. The way, <laughs> either the way, way either way they come, they have to go by my desk. <laughs> Probably all on how you hit it depends on the way they come. <laughs> I don't even know if I had to hit it to make them come. I don't know if you could get to it. I could. Not on that. I mean, I could. I don't know. I don't want to, but I could. <laughs> It'd be like throwing a quarter in the Grand Canyon. It's like they fucking find the monolith in the middle of the fucking <laughs> desert. <laughs> hey, nobody knows it's there. Nope. Every now and then you might see it or feel it. Mm. Lord of mercy. Just kidding. It's big. Huge. Um, um, got, what else we got? Oh, I got an HOA update. What should you do wrong this time? <laughs> How do you know? Because <laughs> HOA updates usually means John didn't cut his grass or somebody did something wrong. Evidently, my rock project's taking too long. All the ones that I got sitting on my sidewalk? Yeah. Well, I started this, I don't know, probably f- March of last year. <laughs> well, we're in the Good middle of a God. goddamn pandemic. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, we're in the middle of a pandemic. Bitch, you're working from home. You ain't got to do any fucking... Yeah. Can we put your rocks in your fucking garden? But here's the ironic part about all these rocks, right? They're decorative rocks. They're both like for landscaping, <laughs> right? They come out of like a fucking river in West Virginia. West Virginia. But anyway, I dug them up out of the ground because they were overgrown. The They're rocks big. were overgrown? Yeah, like shit was over top. You didn't even oh. know they were there. And when I started cleaning out in front of my house, you found, them. Landscape, I found yeah. them. So I put them up there. I've washed them off. They're clean. I, I may or may not have a recycle bin full of them. I've never, <laughs> I haven't been able to use my recycle bin. I got milk crates out there with rocks in it to wash them out and clean. Things are neatly and orderly stacked. But I guess the asshole at the end of the street, <clears throat> he, uh, I guess he filed a complaint and decided that my rocks need to be cleaned up. Just move into the backyard. Well, here's my thing. I'm like, okay, y'all want me to clean my rocks up? Like, yeah. Okay, I'm going to put me down some weed mat, and I'm going to put the rocks, take them off the concrete, and put them back in the dirt. <laughs> the same exact spot. And you're going to be happy. Yep. I'm like, listen to yourself. I'm going to pick the rocks up off the concrete here, slide them over 10 feet, and put them back in the dirt, and you're happy. Mm-hmm. Yep. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> like, seriously. They don't want them on your sidewalk. They want them. They don't walk on my sidewalk anyway. My sidewalk is literally my personal sidewalk from my house garage to my front door. But they want that in your garden. I guess. Do they got nothing else better to do? It's bullshit. Can you go to his house and find something to bitch about at his house? I do. It's the first one when you come in the neighborhood. And he the calls one that's it a, overgrown? He calls it a motherfucking butterfly garden, and all yeah. of the, all that shrubbery is indigenous to the swampland. Well, fuck you and all your weeds. You can't even see your house. How does he see your shit when he lives in the fucking first house Because he walks in. Oh, they got busted at 4 o'clock in the morning. The lady next to me that gives us all the free shit? Yeah. She was putting in a new driveway. Well, they're out there at 4 o'clock in the morning... With fucking flashlights, and her and her uh, boyfriend were in the hot tub, and oh, get yeah. A, yeah, they get up and they're like, "Hey, if you come back when the sun's up, we'll give you a fucking tour." And pissed, <laughs> and then they got all flustered, <laughs> and they ain't walked the street since in Good. like a week. But 
but that's when I got the complaint is because now they're complaining about everybody's shit. And other people said that they've seen them in their front yard too looking at shit. Yeah, get the fuck out and of here. And their yard's the, the worst. Yeah. Yes, with flashlights and yeah. shit. You drive by their house and like their front patio is like overgrown with weeds and shit like it's that. It's a fucking shit it goes, up, it goes up the side of their... It, lo- it literally looks like John's house, but if he didn't weed eat for an extra three more months. Yeah, and yeah. you know why we can't do nothing about it? Because it says right there in the laws... That natural vegetation can be used as privacy. Those are natural rocks in your fucking yard! <laughs> I don't know, man. Sorry for yelling. That's right. Y'all want to throw, like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take their prized butterfly garden and I'm going to round up the shit out of it. Let it light it on fucking fire. Yeah, I'm going to take a bulldozer and, like, I hope they go on vacation for, like, two days. <laughs> two fucking days. And I'm going to come back and the place is going to be clean. It's yep. going to look nice. It's they're going to have, awesome. like, an Arlo. What the fuck happened? Sorry, I was sitting I in their window. They're going to have the camera on their window and they're going to see you going. Tsh- and they're yeah. going to see me with my cock out in one hand and the other finger in the other hand. Like, <laughs> fuck you, people. And then you're going to jail. I don't Sorry, I weeded your front yard. <laughs> going to jail. I'm on personal property. You can't take me to jail. Yeah. You're trespassing, officer. Yeah. You can't come Huge on my bags. property. You don't pay my taxes, my land taxes. I know because I just paid them. But How old are these uh, people? If you were on their land doing that and their yeah. stuff. Then are they so. fucking old people? Or? Yes. I don't know if they fuck old people, but they're old <laughs> people. They're fucking old. Old. I'll tell them mind their own goddamn business. I pretty much did. It's the same fucker that was getting on me about my flag. Guess what? Y'all, I told you that story, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, guess what? I made it a point to, like, go slow by his house. He don't even have a fucking American flag up. Yeah, At least no. I got one up. Yeah. Well, you said, if he's sniffing around and he's seeing people in their backyards in their hot tubs, like, there's something up. What does he care about what the yard, 38 houses down the fucking road? Because he's just ain't got shit else to do. Yeah. Not a fuck-ass thing to do. I'm going to hang my balls outside the window next time he walks by. Like, if you're looking for something, look for this. I'd give him the fucking finger. I'm like, fuck you, old man. Mm-hmm. Keep walking. That's right. Like, your dog looks nice, but fuck him, too, just because yeah. you're the one holding him. Move out. I'll fucking run your dog over. Nah, I wouldn't do that. I would. I'd run him over, but Absolutely. I wouldn't run him over. Oh, oh, no, the, dog the dog's had... getting run over, too, with the old man. No. The, dog the, dog, the, dog, the dog's the dog, innocent. Got nothing the, to do with the it. The dog didn't get to pick its own. Yeah, it's not his fault. No, he but got it's a fucking head. cocksucker, too. How do you know? They put peanut butter Guilty on Guilty by it? a fucking association. Did he have peanut butter on his lips? They probably do. That's what the fucking old people do. That's they grow, the last thing They grow weeds in their fucking front yard and lick peanut butter off their dog's nuts. That's the last thing I'd expect to hear from Mike, from Ross. He's going to run a dog over. Kill them all. This last right, kill the weeds and the homeowners. That's the last thing I expect to hear from you. Hey. Ross, why are you so angry? Because fucking did you not people that? piss me off. Did you so not get that poop out didn't lick your balls and you're jealous? No, it's fucking nosy oh. ass people, man. Fuck nosy ass people. Yeah, but the dog isn't nosy. Dog if, if, they, if, they, if your nosy ass neighbors want a problem, we'll give them a fucking problem. <laughs> <laughs> Try putting peanut butter on your ass next time. I will fucking back into their goddamn mailbox. Well, good luck <laughs> with that one. They got a metal one. So. Oh, I'll, f- I'll fucking come with a fucking full head no, of steam. No, why don't you just get that bulldozer you always been wanting? Hell yeah. We'll go out there and we'll fucking wreck some hell. Let's borrow the beaver. Let me know next time you have to level <laughs> dirt in your yard and I'll come fucking steal that tractor and fucking mow over their fucking mailbox mm-hmm. on the way to rip down their weeds. <laughs> <laughs> and relocate all your rocks under their fucking sidewalk and file a complaint on their house. <laughs> nice. We should do some like some kids shit and just like fucking syrup their cars and then sprinkle oatmeal behind it. We're adults, take, John. We you do take, ad- you we take do bologna. Shit. You take bologna and put it on their car yeah. and it'll leave yeah. a perfect off, yeah. circle. Perfect. We can circle. do both, and then we can crack eggs over their AC and let John. Them blow over we're adults. House. We do adult shit now. Yeah. We, we go from egging people to fucking murder. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't uh, trying to go for Joe. But no, I don't. I'll, I'll have a face mask on. I'm too pretty for prison. I ain't trying to hurt nobody ever. I don't think I'd survive. Ross, you need to calm down, Ross. No, it's just nosy ass people will fucking piss me off, man. Are you trying to murder somebody, though? If, it, if I gotta take a charge, I'll take a charge. You've been watching too much Dateline NBC on Saturday night? <laughs> fucking getting away with murder. You man. got nothing to live for if you're ready to murder somebody. Yeah, I'll fucking murder somebody and bring <laughs> them to, just bring like them to Big Cat Rouse. Rescue and have like, fucking Carol Baskin. Murder? Have Murder. Carol Baskin's <laughs> tigers eat them like they ate her husband. Uh, I'll get away with you it. You are desensitized. I can see I Ross. Am. I can see Ross popping in the earbuds, putting on some jaw rule like no. it's murder. I'll be listening to Nickelback while I'm, I'm doing it. I'm scared to death to die. <laughs> Look at your fucking.
photographs. Have a hell of a end up like this. <laughs> Talking about playing baseball in the bathroom? Yeah. What? What? <laughs> what? Who does that? Is that like Creed? I don't know. What are you what talking about? What the fuck about? are you talking about? Playing singing? fucking baseball in the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> the playing rock something. Yeah, playing baseball in the bathroom. <laughs> like, what the fuck is that? Uh, everybody wants to be a, a rock, big rock star. star. Yeah. I don't was, think they're playing baseball in the bathroom. No, it was something though. like that, right? Maybe. Mm-hmm. I don't, maybe you're right. Rock, rock star. He, he might be right. Nickelback rock star. He, I know they're about like, right. Yeah, I'm not crazy. I'm not fucking... Just out there. Does Nickelback come on for you right after uh, Maroon 5? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nickelback rock right star. before some Creed. Everybody wants to be a rock star. Don't play it on your phone. No. Yep. We got everything for the commercial. I don't feel like listening to three minutes of a song to hear a line that's not in the song. It's Everybody in the song. Everybody wants to be Here. a big rock it star. No, stop it. I'll look up the fucking lyrics All just right. to get this over. That'll be better. You're not going to beat me. Even with his hat. Yeah, he beat you, all right. No, he didn't. Uh, what do I have to be? Tell me which one. I muted his microphone. He did! He's <laughs> <laughs> Baseball in. I'm not crazy. He's not. He might look it, but he's not. <laughs> I don't know how I remember stupid shit. That is stupid as fuck. He's right. No. Nope. And it was all coming back to me, like in the middle of it. I'm like, he might be right. That motherfucker is kind of right. <laughs> I felt. You felt like Celine Dion. I know my stupid songs. Don't and get me wrong. It's all coming back. To me. <laughs> I'm sorry to question your gym playlist. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard that song in probably like at least six years. Six, six weeks at six least. <laughs> Six weeks can be six years. <laughs> oh, I have a case of quesadilla. I might listen to Creed all day tomorrow. That's not Creed. <laughs> That's Nickelback. <laughs> That's Nickelback. <laughs> Creed's the one that like they hold. Oh, their arms wide uh, open. Uh, no, they're about the same though. <laughs> We're right, not so the same. Nickel, yeah. nickel sack and Creed. <laughs> Creed. Nickel <laughs> sack is Canadians. Creed are Bible numbers. All right, whatever. Creed. Creed sings that song. With ass wide open, <laughs> on the moonlight, yeah. I'll Early show you everything. everything. If you show me everything, with ass wide open, <laughs> with legs wide open, mm. okay. I'm to to girl. The times we go, appreciate those nights and those days. He's a closet Creed fan. Yeah. <laughs> Just like uh, Maroon 5. It's my sacrifice. <laughs> my sacrifice. Michael likes guys. No, I do. <laughs> I always got Nickel Sack and Creed confused then. Yeah, we know. Because you, you confused him like four times in the last <laughs> two minutes here. <laughs> it could be because I'm impaired. <laughs> okay. Cool. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. You gotta tap on my window. Don't knock on my door. Micah did not do that. He did not tap on your window or knock on your door when he had a shit. He knocked on the door. He didn't tap on the window. <laughs> if you had tapped on the window, I for sure would have answered. I'm like, who the fuck's robbing me? Uh, yeah, he probably shot me. Nah. Shotty. The gun... The gun, the first guns that come to my mind are these right here. I'm like, hey. Oh, uh, yeah. You, I you, got and the, you and the lunch lady. <laughs> <laughs> Those guns. Oh, my Lord. My. Say, hey, grab the real gun just in case these fail. These pea shooters. <laughs> the old Miss Daisies. Should we wrap this thing up? 22s. Yeah. Sitting on 22s. <laughs> what? Where did that come from? 20 who? 22 <laughs> inches around. Who the who? You measured them? No, I don't know if they're really that big. Doesn't say you measured your arms? I should. <laughs> There's not 22 inches. What do you got, like a full body chart, like of everything you've measured? <laughs> what you like to know, you queer? No, I would not. <laughs> queer? How do you figure that? God, we almost made it through a full podcast. <laughs> that John fucking throwing. Yeah, then he dropped a racial out. slur. <laughs> That's not racial. Sexual slur. Oh. Ah, or hateful slur. I have no hate. None. <laughs>
I hope you end up at Disney one time and don't realize which week it is, and you're surrounded. I have been to Disney when they are kissing a bunch. He thought he showed up on the Asian week, but he showed up on the Pride week. That's what it was. I, ha I have been there. <laughs> You what? have? You are when participant? When I was a young kid, when they first started doing that, <laughs> it was cool. I seen multiple dudes making out, <laughs> and no. I was in shock. I never seen two dudes kissing before. That explains a lot about John now. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is going on? And my it's dad a, it's a small like, world after my all. My dad's just like, it's the wrong day. <laughs> and he's been watching it's, Fox News ever since. It's the wrong day. <laughs> it's just the wrong day to come. What do you do? Do you, like... Do you like spend the rest of the day and just like tough it out or do you leave? I've seen I've seen a couple people kissing in front of my daughter and I made them like I made her cuz I don't know. I don't know. It's not cool. All right, we'll see y'all next <laughs> week. <laughs> yeah. Cut this shit out. See y'all next out. week. <laughs> Love it.